When we were young, we were all taught by our elders that when we eat various things that we should pay attention to when it comes to hygiene. Welcome back to the weird side. A friendly reminder that today's content is not suitable for viewing while eating. This incident took place in Australia in 2010. Sam Ballard is a 19 years old living in New South Wales, Australia. He is a handsome, athletic young man who is a member of his school's rugby team. He was very popular with the girls. On a summer evening, he and his rugby teammates were drinking on the back patio at their house. After a few bottles of red wine, the young men were getting a little carried away and the party was heating up. Just then, a slug climbed up the railing of the terrace. The drunken youngsters started betting on who would dare to eat the mollusk. And that person will be the master for tonight. The youths began to urge each other on, but no one was willing to eat it. After all, it's not just anyone who can put such a slimy thing in their mouths. And then Sam came out. He grabbed the slug by the tail, tilted his head, and put it in his mouth. Then he washed it down with a sip of wine. The youth all cheered. Everyone had a great time that night. But the next day after waking up, Sam felt dizzy and nauseous, and a part of his right leg was very painful. He thought it was caused by a hangover and didn't care. But after another day, the nausea didn't go away, and his leg felt more painful. Could this be the result of eating that slug? Sam told his mother about his worries. His mother told him to relax. She had never heard of anyone having any serious consequences from eating snails or slugs before. But Sam's mother still had her own worries. Sam's father had multiple sclerosis. Although the chances of passing this disease onto the next generation are low. However, his mother took Sam to the hospital for a full body checkup as a precaution. After a few days, the test results came back. All of Sam's physiological indicators were normal. The doctor told them not to worry. The leg pain could be caused by muscle spasms. When they heard the results, Sam's mother relaxed. But Sam was still a little worried, so he told the doctor that he had eaten a live slut a few days ago. The doctor's relaxed expression became a little more serious after hearing his words. A few days later, Sam received another call from the doctor, saying that after consulting with another doctor, he was advised to return to the hospital for a spinal fluid test. This is a special test for parasites. It is not usually part of a routine physical examination, but based on Sam's previous experience, it was recommended that he get insurance. The test results came back quickly. Sam was found to have a parasitic disease called rat lungworm. As the name implies, these parasites live mainly in the lungs of rats. However, their eggs are dispatched with the rat's feces and snails and slugs become intermediate hosts for the parasite after eating the rat's feces. When a person eats an uncooked snail or slug, this parasite is also found in people who eat raw salads without removing the tiny mollusks from them. Generally speaking, the damage caused by rat lungworms in the human body is not very serious. It usually causes headaches, fever, dizziness, vomiting, and stiff neck symptoms. After a few weeks, the parasite is cleared by the body's defenses and the person returns to health. There are exceptions, of course. Sometimes the larvae will follow the bloodstream to the brain, where they will settle and cause severe meningitis. In serious cases, it may be fatal. But since there is no medicine that can kill the rat lungworm in the body, the doctor recommended that Sam go home to recuperate. After all, the likelihood of serious consequences is low. There is a good chance that Sam will recover on his own. But unfortunately, just a few days later, Sam's body was infested with rat lungworm and his brain was infected. He was admitted to the hospital with severe symptoms of meningitis. Although his life was saved, he fell into a coma for 420 days afterwards. When Sam woke up again, his parents were saddened to find that their son had been completely disfigured. Originally healthy and handsome, Sam was completely paralyzed due to severe brain damage, which destroyed the motor function of his brain. He could only control his breathing and eyelids. Even opening his mouth is difficult for him. He has been classified as severely disabled and requires 24-7 care. But doctors say Sam's intelligence is not compromised. His brain was still clear and sharp, 
and that was probably the most painful thing for Sam. After he was discharged from the hospital, he went home. Friends who had been drinking with him came to visit him and saw how bad he looked. One friend lamented that he would have tried to stop Sam from eating the slug if he had known the consequences were so bad. After hearing his friend's words, Sam, who had lost his ability to speak, burst into tears. The good news is that his family and friends were there for him, encouraging him to live with optimism. But in November 2018, eight years after being infected by the parasite, Sam died of respiratory failure, leaving behind a grieving family and a large debt. There are people who, under the banner of healthcare, tell people that eating raw snake bile can be healthy and even cure diseases. There are many cases of serious parasitic infections in humans every year. It is hard to imagine the extent of the suffering of the victims, and the friends at the scene of the accident must have left a lifelong shadow that is difficult to erase. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to this channel and like the video. Thanks for watching to the end. See you in the next video.